guys, how's it going? Brad here, Brews Under Review. Thanks for stopping by, checking me out. On yet another beer review tonight. Have a look at this beauty here. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. They're out of Chico, California. And this is their pale ale, a very popular pale ale from what I've gathered. 5.6% ABV on this one. Completely natural ale brewed with the finest malted barley, whole cone hops. I think they'll use whole cone in all their beers. No pellets for them. Uh, brewer's yeast and pure water. Each bottle is conditioned naturally, creating a more unique and flavorful. Okay, let's get into this. I've only had one other Sierra Nevada beer. Their uh, Torpedo IPA. My brother hooked me up with a six pack of this so thanks Kyle appreciate it big guy uh, let's get it poured so yeah I guess they ship this pale ale to certain parts of Canada but I think only their pale ale right now and we're not getting it here yet but maybe one day okay have a look very decent carbonation, very carbonated. And then again, it's got that etched hop in there. I think that supplies quite a bit of that. Uh, beautiful, kind of light golden, light copper, beautiful. A little bit cloudy, maybe more just a, actually pretty clear, just a little chill haze, if anything. Super packed head, looks creamy and packed. A few rocky bubbles, but it looks beautiful. Let's check out the aroma. Very light aroma. Uh, almost like light floral, citrus, very touch of sweet malt in there. It's a very subtle aroma. This is the last of the six pack, so. 1980, we created a beer highlighting the bold pine and citrus flavors of Holcomb Cascade hops. Today, our all-natural bottle condition pale ale is recognized worldwide as a classic. Okay, let's get into the taste. I'm very thirsty. Another hot, humid one here, so cheers. Nice, light to medium, maybe mouthfeel, more on the light. Kind of crisp, good bit of bitterness there. Not, not really getting that big citrusy note. Definitely more piney, light floral. And then maybe just like a bit of sweetness from the mall too. No IBUs on this bottle, I don't think. But it seems to have like a pretty decent bitterness to it. it it's a delicious beer. Nothing too overwhelming on it. It is like just a nice pale ale. I think this is like a perfect beer to get people into, you know, drinking more real beers. And it's got, a, it's very approachable on all ends of it. And it's just you know, nice, refreshing, excellent, sessionable beer. I would add that in my rotation if it made its way here and was affordable. They say it best. It's just, it's a classic pale ale. It's, it's delicious. From 1980, still holds up, and a lot of people still love this beer. I don't know if they've adjusted their recipe from then. I really doubt it. Anyway. Yeah. 
just so damn refreshing too. Excellent beer. For me, I'm gonna go an 82 on it. I, I just love this beer. It's so easy to drink. Uh, the six pack didn't last long. This is the last one. Thanks Kyle for hooking it up. Appreciate it. Really good beer. And yeah. And on that, thanks for stopping by friends. I appreciate that. Until next time, cheers.